Hi, welcome to the studio of Wendy Bale Art First, where for Monday Movie episode number 15, you'll see why I'm a little bit bats about vellum. I'm going to be assembling a multi-layered cut paper piece featuring a vampire bat. I'm using a two and a half inch deep shadow box with an inner frame, glass in the front, and a backer board. We will discard that part so that the light can come through. The bat layer, which will be in front, has the bat and some other parts of the bat cave in a frame that I've made of heavyweight paper to friction fit inside here. The second layer is made of just a single layer of vellum, which creates some shadow play behind the first layer. Working from the back was a little bit tricky. A couple times I put it together backwards, but I think I've got it together right this time. The last piece of the background to go in includes the night sky. It's just holes that have been poked into the vellum to create the effect of stars. There's also a sheet of plexiglass that is on the back of that, held in place again by a frame of heavyweight paper. However, this time it's been made to fit where that backing sheet that we discarded earlier went. The final step is to add a little frame around the back of it that will finish the presentation and make it look nice from the back as well as from the front. This piece is not intended to be hung on a wall. It's more a table piece or perhaps on a desk or a shelf, someplace where the light can come through and we can really enjoy that vellum. As you can see from this front view as I'm assembling the layers, I've used my embossing tool to make some different lines and also added some shape to the vellum. The bat itself has got some opaque portions of it, but we're still letting the light through to create some of the details in that bat. Vellum is available in a lot of different colors and weights, and there's also even some that have a little sheen to them, like this piece seen here. I really enjoy working with it. It's wonderful to let the light come through once in a while and it creates some nice iridescence in some of the birds that I work with and also makes a nice place for this fish to swim. <music> 